Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Saturday, February 26, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Boston Celtics vs Detroit Pistons. The Boston Celtics and Detroit Pistons meet Saturday in NBA action at the Little Caesars Arena. The Boston Celtics look for a win after winning 10 of their last 11 games. The Detroit Pistons need a win after losing 12 of their last 15 games. Our first pick is Boston Celtics minus 10.5 points. And here is why. Boston is second in the Atlantic Division with a record of 35-26 and won one half games behind the front-running Philadelphia 76ers. The Celtics are third in the NBA in points allowed at 103.5 points per game. Boston is holding opponents to a 42.9% field goal accuracy which is first in the NBA, and opponents are shooting just 33.7% from behind the three-point line, which is fifth best. The Celtics are second in the NBA in rebounds with an average of 46.6 boards per contest and allow an average of 44.6 boards per contest. Robert Williams III is the king of the boards for Boston with an average of 9.8 rebounds per game and is also the SWAT leader with an average of 2.2 blocked shots per game. Marcus Smart is the leader in steals with an average of 1.8 per contest. Detroit has won two straight, including that one-point win in Boston last week. The problem for the Pistons is that they are facing a Boston team that has won 10 of their last 11 games coming into this contest. In addition, the Celtics aren't playing the second game of a back-to-back -back as they were last week when they faced Detroit, as they came in off a 132-87 victory over Philadelphia the night before. Boston is healthy and they have played extremely well of late, which works in their favor. We can't count on a young Pistons team to put together three straight good performances given their track record. Lay the points and take the Celtics here. And for our second pick, go with under 215.5 points. And here is why. On the year, the Pistons are second last in the league in scoring offense as they average just 102.6 points a game. Detroit is 28th in rebounding with an average of 42.9 boards per contest and 26th in assists by dishing out 22.7 dimes a night. The Pistons are 27th in the league in scoring defense, as they give up an average of 112.4 points per contest. Sadik Bay is third on the Pistons, with 15.9 points, plus 5.7 rebounds per contest on the year. Jeremy Grant adds 18.9 points plus 4.2 rebounds per game, while Kelly Olenek chips in 9.3 points, plus 4.8 boards a night. Isaiah Stewart, Frank Jackson, 10.9 points, Killian Hayes, Corey Joseph, Marvin Bagley, 3 Hamadou Diallo, 11.3 points, and Luca Garza are looked at to be contributors for coach Dwayne Casey. First overall pick Cade Cunningham, 15.8 points, 5.5 boards, 5.2 assists, has performed well in his rookie campaign. Detroit is 29th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 42.1% from the floor as a team. The Pistons are 26th in the league in threes per game, as they hit 11.1 triples per contest, while they are second to last in three-point percentage, as they connect on just 32% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Toronto Raptors vs Atlanta Hawks. The Toronto Raptors and Atlanta Hawks meet Saturday in NBA action at the State Farm Arena. The Toronto Raptors look for a win after splitting their last six games. The Atlanta Hawks need a win after losing five of their last eight games. Our first pick is Toronto Raptors plus 2.5 points. And here is why. The Raptors were 8-2 in their last 10 heading into the All-Star break, and in their last game before the break, they beat the Minnesota Timberwolves 103-91. In the game, they were led by Gary Trent Jr. who dropped 30 points, while Pascal Siakam chipped in with 17. Atlanta lost by four points to Chicago but was tied heading into the fourth quarter. In the game, they were led by Bogdan Bogdanovic, who scored 27 off the bench, while Danilo Gallinari had 26. Atlanta has the rest advantage here, but the Hawks have been as inconsistent a team as you're going to find in the league this season. We've seen them post a pair of seven-game win streaks while having skids of six and five games on the books as well. The Hawks have had all kinds of problems with consistency, and without Collins, it takes away a viable option on the offensive end of the floor. 
Toronto looked flat Friday in the early going against Charlotte, and one has to hope that they can rebound after that disappointing showing. The Raptors have had success in the second game of back-to-back -back sets, and with Atlanta having so many issues when it comes to turning in consistent solid showings, you have to give the slim edge to Toronto here. And for our second pick, go with. Over the total. And here is why. The Hawks enter this contest 8th in scoring offense by averaging 112.2 points per game. Atlanta is 19th in rebounding by collecting 44.4 boards a night, while the team stands 14th by dishing out 24.3 assists per contest. Atlanta is 22nd in the league in scoring defense, as they allow opponents to score 111.8 points per game this season. Trey Young leads the team with 27.6 points and 9.3 assists per game this season. John Collins puts up 16.8 points plus 7.9 rebounds a night. DeAnder Hunter chips in 12.7 points a game, Will Kevin Huerter, 11.6 points, and Danilo Gallinari, 10.9 points, are good secondary scoring options. Clint Capella, 10.8 points, 12.2 rebounds, 1.4 blocks, Bogdan Bogdanovic, 13.6 points, Gorgie Yang, Lou Williams, and Ika Okongwu, Dylan Wright, Kevin Knox and Skylar Mays are key rotation pieces for coach Nate McMillan. Atlanta is 6th in the league in field goal percentage by hitting 46.7% of their shots from the floor this season. The Hawks are 13th in threes per game, as they hit 12.6 per contest, and stand 1st in three-point percentage, as they hit 37.6% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Collins, Foot, and Williams, Hip, are expected to miss the contest. Memphis Grizzlies vs Chicago Bulls the Memphis Grizzlies and Chicago Bulls meet Saturday in NBA action at the United Center. The Memphis Grizzlies look for a win after winning 10 of their last 14 games. The Chicago Bulls look to build on their six-game winning streak. Our first pick is Chicago Bulls plus one. And here is why. Demer Derrizin scored 37 points while extending an NBA record streak, and the Eastern Conference leading Bulls outlasted a gritty Atlanta Hawks team 112-108 on Thursday. Darazin pushed his league mark of scoring at least 35 points, while shooting 50% or better to eight consecutive games. Deemer made 15 of 21 shots and had five points in the final minute, helping the Bulls rally from three down to win for their sixth straight victory. The Memphis Grizzlies have been ridiculous both Sue and ATS, and they're not a team I'm eager to bet against in any role. However, this line is showing no respect to a good Bulls team that's won six straight and is winning their last five by an average of 7.8 points. Also, let's not forget Morant got hurt Thursday night and couldn't walk right, so who knows how he'll look tonight. And for our second pick. Go with, over the total. And here is why. The Memphis Grizzlies are averaging 113.8 points on 45.8% shooting, and allowing 109.1 points on 45.3% shooting. John Morant is averaging 26.7 points and 6.8 assists, while Dylan Brooks is averaging 18.4 points and 3.3 rebounds. Desmond Bain is the third double-digit scorer, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is dishing 1.1 assists. The Memphis Grizzlies are shooting 34% from beyond the arc and 73.4% from the free-throw line. The Memphis Grizzlies are allowing 35.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 49 rebounds per game. Zaire Williams and Jaron Jackson Jr. each scored 21 points for Memphis, which averaged more than 126 points over a 6-1 stretch leading into the All-Star break. They dominated Minnesota on the boards, which kept them in the game, but were outdone by a spectacular performance from Russell. They'll try and bounce back against a tough Chicago club. The Chicago Bulls are averaging 112.6 points on 48.3% shooting and allowing 110.3 points on 46.6% shooting. Demer Derrizin is averaging 28.3 points and 5.1 assists, while Zach Lavin is averaging 24.5 points and 4.9 rebounds. Nikola Vucevic is the third double-digit scorer, and Kobe White is dishing 2.8 assists. The Chicago Bulls are shooting 37.5% from beyond the arc and 81.6% from the free-throw line. The Chicago Bulls are allowing 36.2% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.4 rebounds per game. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. 
you should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.